greetings I look so orange <laughs> um, all right I don't have anybody in on yet so I'm gonna wait for a couple of people to come on or it doesn't matter I would like for people to come on so I can talk to you back and forth but if they don't then I'm gonna put this on my Facebook I mean my YouTube hey sacred Gigi um, I'm gonna put this on my YouTube as well all right so let me get into it I don't I can never keep it under 15 minutes but I'm gonna try all right hey success Haman all right so in this scope I'm gonna be talking about and also it's gonna be on my YouTube like I said um, about personal power I'm gonna relate to you a personal story personal experience I had um, I think it was last Sunday last Sunday well actually it's been going on for the past couple of well last month really my car was um, acting up at first we thought it was the battery so we changed the battery then we thought it was well actually then I, it started acting up again after the battery was replaced and um, I went and to advanced auto parts and you know hook it up to the little computer and it told me that my crank shaft sensing sensor position sensor whatever it is was malfunctioning so I got that replaced and hey the butterfly it was working just fine but then last Sunday so I'm thinking you know the car is cool but then last Sunday I'm driving I think was I coming back from work or going to get something to eat or something I don't know but I was driving and started jerking again and prior to me replacing that part that was messed up um, you know it was hey it was um, stalling like you'd be sitting there and it would just cut off like if you stop the car it would cut off and it was really hard to crank it up so you know I fixed it and you know after it was initially fixed it was just fine it was running perfectly and but on particular this particular night Sunday last Sunday it started jerking again like it was stalling and I'm like what the f what what's going on <laughs> I'm like I don't want any more car troubles like I'm the kind of person I don't like being stuck I don't like not have not having a car because I feel like I can't go anywhere you know I can't go as far as I want to you know and I don't have the freedom just to get up and go right I hate it not, I don't like not having a car so I'm like uh, -uh. whatever it is at first I started to panic like oh my gosh I'm about to call to work because I'm gonna have to go you know um, get my car fixed tomorrow um, or whatever and I was like man this is this is BS I don't want this so then I thought back to, you know, some of the things that I've been receiving lately, which is that I have a dream team. I have folks, spirits, entities, whatever, in the spirit realm who are here to assist me. I have my higher self, my own, you know, personal extension. Then I have others around me. You can call them ancestors, spirit guides, angels, whatever. There's all kinds of things out there. Or around you to help you so I was like you know what fuck this so I am absolutely not accepting that this car is acting up again because I've already fixed it twice and I don't want to put any more money into it I just want it to work so I was like look my ancestors spirit guides everybody that's around me I know the name of one and I'm discovering the names of the rest of them you know um I was like look you either tell me how to fix this car <laughs> right now <laughs> like what can I do to um, make it work what is the problem or you fix it you know you you pull some kind of miracle you do something right and popped in my head the game the answer Reiki um, you know Reiki is um, a, they have different systems yeah um, different systems um, of doing it and it's just like a way to do it but basically it's um, channeling life force energy the energy that animates us all that you know um, gives us all life okay so usually when people speak of Reiki they're talking about doing it to a person you don't always have to do it to a person everything is energy okay everything is vibrating everything is moving some things vibrate slower than others or they vibrate at different rates that doesn't mean they're not energetic in nature because across the board everything's energy so like I said spirit gave me it said you know what break your car I said oh that makes sense <laughs> 
So I looked it up, I googled it, and there's maybe one or two articles about someone else speaking of that. So I proceeded to rake you my car. You know, I said, whatever's wrong with you, get it right. I'm lending you, I'm channeling this energy. Um, I'm channeling protective energy and all that good stuff. And what happened? It worked. It stopped. The jerking, um, the check engine light had come on again. I was like, uh uh, it stopped. And it has been a week because today is Sunday and it has not done anything. Okay? So I took that a little further and I, it came to me. I said, you know what? Why don't I just reiki my whole damn day? When I get in the car and I'm about to go somewhere, why don't I just reiki the car, you know, the my auric field around me, my protective bubble? Why don't I just reiki all of that? Why don't I reiki, because I'm a nurse, I'm an RN, I work in a hospital. Why don't I just reiki, there's a plane going over, I don't know if you can hear it. But anyway, um, my patients, you know, it can be challenging being a nurse because you're dealing with sick people. You're dealing with people who are not at their best energetically. You're dealing with people, my hair looks so gray. The sun is so bright out here. Um, <laughs> um, you're dealing with people who are just not their best. So, yeah, I've done it to my car with my check, and it works. Yes, it does. And you can do it to your engine so it. I mean your your gas line and all that stuff so your gas works more efficiently lasts longer all that okay like if you on E you know we already do it we already say you know I can make it a couple more I can make more a couple more miles right do that and you'll make it okay so um, what was I saying crap I forgot <laughs> oh so I said why don't I just wreck you my whole damn day oh and the patience that's what it was um, you know give them lend them what they need and this is what i believe or what i understand what blessing your enemies instead of cursing them means it's not even necessarily a person that is your enemy it's their actions it's what they're doing to you you don't like so give them what they need that's the blessing it doesn't mean that you have to be like um nice to them it means you just give them what they need like if they're just unhappy and miserable you know give them what they need it doesn't mean money or if you have to give them you just declare over them here have this have what you want because most people are unhappy and mean because they're lacking something so that's whole I won't go into that but that's something I came up with that you know blessing your enemies is um, something's gonna help you because then they get at your face and leave you alone <laughs> so anyway with Reiki so um, I send it when I get in the car in the morning or whenever I get in the, well, actually if I do it in the morning when I work, I don't have to do it anymore for the rest of the day because it's it lasts all day, and it if I declared it to last longer, it would. But I like doing it every day because it gives me practice. Um, I get in the car and I usually raise both my hands. My right hand is is because I'm right-handed. It sends energy out, and the left hand receives energy. But um, I receive energy. You channel it through your crown and through your feet. Anywhere the energy can enter, those are the places where you want the energy to come in. So I ask for energy to come in through my left hand. And I can always feel it. Anytime I hold my hands up like this, I feel it in my nadis, the chakras in your hands, okay? And I project it out with my right hand. And I project it towards the engine. And I also project energy, in, in, in the, in the energy through my solar plexus. And I expand it. So I expand this protective bubble and I clear everything out. Um, I ask that all deities, all energies that can facilitate me getting to work safely or getting wherever I'm going safely be with me. And that's from all cultures, all um, uh, religions, anything you can think of. Anything that's going to help me, I want you. Dark, light energies, gray, in between, whatever. Anything. I want you to be with me and roll with me that day. Um, <clears throat> I rake you my patience. Like I said, I say give to them, you know, bring it to me what I need to do, what I need to say to help them so that they can be comfortable and so that they cannot get on my nerves, <laughs> you know, um, and so they can be healed and so they can, you know, um, have what they need for that day and, you know, bring it through me, my tone, my um, actions, anything that I can do. And also, if I give them any kind of medicine or whatever it is, 
or if they have any treatments, surgeries, whatever, that, that it is successful and that um, it helps them and relieves their pain or anxiety or whatever it is. So that's for me. So it's mutually beneficial. That helps me so I don't have to have a bad day and for them. I've been doing that. Now I'm thinking of extending it to um, everybody I come into contact with as far as like at work. Because that's the main thing I do right now, work. Like, I do that a lot. 36 hours a week, right? Uh, um, anybody I'm talking to on the phone, any doctors, I just reiki them. Yes, good practice. I work in hospice care. Yes, that, that's, that is excellent. Because a lot of people in hospice are, like, have chronic pain. And that's why they're just like, you know, if I pass, let me go. Um, and it's usually older people with over terminal illnesses and stuff like that. So, yeah. Somebody, I don't know if I'm... If I do this on YouTube, if you can see the comments, but I guess if you, I'm going to put Periscope in the title. I'm talking to somebody who made a comment. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on, I don't think you can on YouTube. You can see what people write. But, um, yeah, she was saying that um, she works in hospice. So, hospice is like end of life care for people, okay? So, um, yeah, Reiki for that kind of stuff, that's excellent. Um, I have done Reiki on a couple of patients at work, the ones who are receptive and want it. It's kind of hard because the beds and stuff aren't set up to, for me to be comfortable to do it. So that's why one of my missions um, while I'm here um, on this planet in this life, this cycle is to um, try to plant some seeds or maybe even um, in many areas completely marry Eastern and Western um, modalities. So that when you go into a hospital, there's color therapy, there's aromatherapy. There's pet. There's some pet therapy in a lot of nursing homes and stuff like that. Animals help people heal. Um, they have very good energy. Um, let's see. There's a bee. I'm trying. To, I'm not gonna freak out. If you freak out, this thing, this sucker has landed on my hand. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I try so hard not to freak out with bees. Come on, Mr. Bee. Okay. What? What? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What? <laughs> okay. The bee will not leave me alone. I've had my moments where I don't freak out, but like, he was on my hand. Okay, I'm gonna work on that. Okay, he's gone. Oh my gosh, <sighs> not the bees. I don't know, I think cause I'm talking, I think it's gonna, cause it, I had a bee land on me before and I didn't freak out. Cause I realized that when they pick up on the negative vibe of fear, that's when things bite you and sting you. But I feel like cause I'm talking, I'm gonna work on that. I feel like because I'm talking, it's gonna sting me. Okay, it went away. Okay, Mr. B, I'm sorry. Just don't sting me. I wasn't thinking. Okay. <laughs> yes, aromatherapy is the best. Um, let's see. So yeah, I wanna help marry those two. There's a place, time and a place for Western medicine, and there's a time and a place for Eastern. And they should work um, together rather than fighting and I took look I was one who's like screw Western medicine all together can't really do that um, it's necessary in some some um, instances many as a matter of fact because once your energy is so far gone and so out of balance for you to stay in this realm you need some Western medicine but the healing and the um, bring it back into balance is where Eastern medicine will come in so that you can um, go back into homeostasis or balance, okay? So, Reiki. Reiki is um, a Japanese word. I think it's a two, Japanese slash Chinese word. Those are two different cultures, I know. Um, uh, or nationalities because Japan and China. Um, <clears throat> means spiritual or supernatural, Rei, and Ki is vital, vital energy or universal energy okay and i was reading this really good article i'm gonna link it when i put it on youtube and on facebook or wherever this article i was reading and it went deeper <clears throat> into what um reiki means really really deep and one thing that i like it says it's god power okay and um also that reiki can also suggest a spirit or an aura so like i was talking about putting that force field around you and emanating it out Yes, thank 